This is one of the most monumental moments for the Las Vegas Raiders. In this next draft, they had the task of finding their next quarterback for years to come. And today at the NFL Combine, tons of quarterback prospects spoke to the media. And the Raiders have met with several of these prospects, asked them intimate questions, trying to pick their brain to see if they could be the next QB in Las Vegas. We're going to break down everything these people said and what went down at the Combine. They are going to do the passing drills tomorrow, Saturday. Make sure you subscribe if you want updates on that and more Raiders content. And the Raiders met with Fresno State QB and Senior Bowl MVP Jake Hayner. And we know this guy worked with Patrick Graham ahead of the Senior Bowl. Patrick Graham was the head coach of the Senior Bowl team that Jake Hayner ended up playing for. And he talked about meeting with the Raiders a few times and also talked about a Fresno State QB who has advised him. Talked to Derek and Devontae here and there. Definitely talked to Derek a little more just because he's a quarterback. Oh, giving me his number and a lot me to reach out whenever I need him. He's been a great resource for me. Jay Kaner talking about Derek Carr, giving him advice. Obviously, they went to the same college, so there's a connection there. And he's also talked to Devontae Adams before because he is also a Fresno State alum. But if Derek Carr is giving Jay Kaner advice about which team he should go to, I highly doubt he's going to give a recommendation for Josh McDaniels. But Jay Kaner could be a great QB option for the Raiders, especially day two or day three of the NFL draft. And one of the biggest stories in the draft, Anthony Richardson, we know he has met with several teams, including the Raiders, and this guy's the most athletic quarterback. He talked about his comparison to Cam Newton in the press conference. I, I guess it's a good thing. You know, I don't think about it much. You know, I just try to be the best version of myself that I could be. You know, and I feel like I continue to grow, and I will continue to grow. The guy sounds a little bit like Barry White. Can't get enough of your love, baby. <laughs> but you have Raiders reporter Vincent Bosnior talking about the size of Anthony Richardson. He looks like a very big guy. Last time I checked, he's about 6'3", 230-odd pounds, meaning this guy can take hits, and you watch the film. He is basically a running back playing quarterback, and the problem is sometimes he throws like a running back playing quarterback. But it is kind of refreshing knowing that the only thing this guy really has to work on is his accuracy and at the combine drills tomorrow it's going to be very interesting to see how accurate is he during these passing drills and like we said before the Raiders met with him along with the Panthers Giants Lions Falcons Colts Ravens Saints and Patriots people are paying attention to this guy and he might end up going higher in the draft than we realize especially if he does well at these passing drills tomorrow Saturday March 4th if he does well there I think the Raiders may have to trade up for him or definitely take him at number seven they cannot trade back if they really believe he's the guy. Now, CJ Stroud has met with the Raiders. It was actually the first formal interview he had in Indianapolis was with the Raiders. We know he's talked about how he wants to throw to Devontae Adams. And you know, he's not a physical freak like Anthony Richardson. He doesn't have that Barry White voice, but he is the most day one ready to start passer in the NFL draft this year. I think out of all these quarterbacks, he's the guy who has the least amount of question marks if you're just looking looking for a pocket passer. Part of the reason why he does have question marks is because we did not see him use his legs that much throughout the regular season at Ohio State, but we did see him experiment with using his legs in that game against Georgia. So this is really creating the picture as to why some people aren't unanimous on CJ Stroud being the number one QB in the NFL draft. Also, given the fact that he's always had a lot of talent around him, a lot of first round pick wide receivers around him, and a lot of time in the pocket. And based on last season, might not have too much time in the pocket if we does join the Raiders, but this is him talking about his formal meeting with the Raiders. Um, I had a great conversation with them. They asked me about some family stuff as well. So um, just being really honest and trying to just build that relationship and that connection. So he had a great conversation with the Raiders. And one thing that was very notable is that he said he's trying to make an impression on the Raiders. I think this guy wants the Raiders to draft him. And that's really something that's sort of special when you have a QB who's clearly preferring a certain team. When asked about being drafted by the Bears, he said, no, that's Justin Fields team. I don't want to be drafted by the Bears. Now, obviously, Justin Fields is one of his friends. He attended the same college, Ohio State. So that's probably why he's saying that. But I think it is notable. He's trying to build a relationship and connection with the Raiders. And the Raiders are also trying to make an impression on him. And I think it's because this offense, on the offensive side of the ball, it is ready to go. It is ready to go. You guys know if you watch this channel, I disagree with the decision to move on from Derek Carr. I personally disagree with that. In my opinion, I don't think it's the wise football move.
move. But just objectively speaking, this offense is ready to go. Objectively, they just need a quarterback. You could still find some free agents to sort of fill in for this offensive line, but you got your three dynamic receiving weapons if they're healthy in Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, and Darren Waller. You just need a starting quarterback to really compete, and you also have to find a way to fix that freaking defense. And, and willing to go back to square one and learn it all over again just to be great at, at this league. So the Key thing there, he's willing to go back to square one and learn everything again, and I think that's what Josh McDaniels ultimately wants, and I think ultimately that's why it did not work out with Derek Carr. Josh McDaniels likely wants his uh his, his blank slate, his, his young child who hasn't learned anything yet, and he could show him the ropes. He could be a fresh, fresh sponge to absorb the genius of Josh McDaniels. I think that's what he's trying to do, and he doesn't want some veteran, some guy he already has his preconceived notions clashing with that. So that's why ultimately I do not think Josh McDaniels is going to go with a veteran quarterback. I do believe he's going to draft his next quarterback, and I think he does prefer people like CJ Shroud or even Anthony Richardson, people who maybe uh, aren't too experienced with making audibles, reading the defense, maybe mainly just going with what the play call that was given from the sideline. I think Josh McDaniels is okay with this because we know he clashed last year with Derek Carr because Derek Carr was making audibles and David Carr talked about that on the NFL Network. So I think this could be a really good fit. CJ Stroud making some comments, showing that he's open to anything and open to something that Josh McDaniels seems like he is likely to do. And we also have Hendon Hooker, the quarterback from the Tennessee Volunteers, who was going to be 25 years old by the start of next season and did hurt his ACL just this past season with the Volunteers, but he met with the Raiders and talked about it. Doing great. Um, and we had a lot of conversations, um, you know, just about getting to know me and then uh, talking ball. Um, I had a great time. So obviously no one's going to say too much. These are PR answers, but Hendon Hooker could also be a great option. I think it's still risky putting a first round pick on him. There are some reports that he's expected to be ready to go by training camp, but how are you going to really evaluate and know how healthy he is when he was just injured last season? I think it's just too risky. 25 years old. That's a huge jump. Somebody like CJ Shroud, Anthony Richardson, you're looking at guys who are roughly 21 years old. That's a huge difference in age. And you just know bottom line, someone like CJ, Stroud, someone like Anthony Richardson. These guys are going to be around longer than somebody like Hendon Hooker, but who knows? Hendon Hooker has appeared very talented when you watch the tape. I think if he would have stayed healthy, there's there's an open question as to whether or not he passes CJ Stroud in some of these mock drafts and whether or not he gets drafted ahead of him. That, that is totally possible. He could be the best day one starter, but I think the age in the ACL is ultimately against him and it's going to make him drop the day two. Will Levis is going to be participating at the combine. He wants to demonstrate that he has the strongest arm of any QB of any class in recent memory. Bold statements by Will Levis. And we know that this guy, if you're looking just at the whole entire season last year, not just specific games. He did prove it with his arm and legs. You're able to see him move around in the pocket, get some yards at times with his legs. And for some reason, when you're looking at the top four QBs, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Anthony Richardson, Will Levis, Levis and Richardson are sort of lumped in as projects. But when you watch the tape, when you watch the Florida Gators versus Kentucky last year, Will Levis versus Anthony Richardson, Will Levis is obviously the quarterback who's ready to start day one in that game. If you just watch that one game, you could just see it very clearly. Now, I'm not going to say that Richardson doesn't have a higher ceiling than Levis, but clearly Levis is more ready to start as a quarterback day one in the NFL than somebody like Anthony Richardson. I like this because this combine, I just feel like there's going to be so much competition. We really don't know who the number one guy is. We're, we're sort of figuring that out. Bryce Young obviously has the size issues. The dude weighs less than me, like straight up. He weighs less than me and he's smaller than me. So do you want Willie as your quarterback or Bryce Young? No, I'm just kidding. Obviously Bryce Young is a talented quarterback, but there's a lot of issues with all these quarterbacks in the combine. It, it seems like it doesn't always matter. Coaches decide based off the film, right? They already have their mind made up, but this is an odd situation where I just feel like the combine is going to help certain GMs and coaches make decisions about these quarterbacks because there's question marks with all these quarterbacks. There's no Joe Burrow in this draft. There's no one guy who you're like, oh, we're for sure taking this dude number one overall, but this is going to be a historic draft for the Raiders regardless, especially if they really end up taking a quarterback in the first round, which seems seems highly likely. So let me know in the comments below who you want the Raiders to draft as their next quarterback. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out and I'll see you on the next one.